Let's take a look at the object outline and a few basic tags that you'll see on most objects. So let's uh, create a sphere here. Go ahead and make that edible. Okay, here's our here's our outline view of, your ob of the objects that we have. We want we wanted so so choose to we could click and drag, hold down on the control key, and then make a copy of something. And we can also drag drag these objects wherever we want. So I can stick a sphere inside of a sphere, or I can bring it back out. Just double click to name the objects. Of course, you can also down here. You got options. You can name them in here as well, or you can put them on a layer. Oops, you can't see that. Let's bring up the. Let's go and bring up the layer layer browser here. Okay. This it's, it's kind of works like Photoshop if you've been inside of Photoshop. New layer. name it spheres and now I can add objects to that like you see this is generally indicates the layers here we add add to layer spheres we can just add those objects to the layer and if we wanted cubes a few cubes around here and there and there another cube bring it up here just, if we just have some basic objects that are around, or if we had objects inside of objects, we can make another layer. Called cubes. And we can add those. We can add the layer. We can right click and add layer, or we can just click here and add the cubes. Then we can just determine whether we see that or not so we can either view it, we can determine not to view it and the and the, the viewport here or we can just completely hide it all together and you'll notice these, these different things Here's like this is the viewport this is the renderer so if we take this away and we decide to render render out the scene there's nothing there because we've hidden everything it only leaves the cubes there, it'll only render the cubes. And this is the outline. So that, that hides it from the outline view right there. And this, of course, is lock. If you want to lock those attributes. Or lock, just lock this whole layer. Just So now, if you try to move anything or do anything with those objects or their tags, you can't do anything to them. So let's go ahead and unlock that. You can view the. You can de determine whether you want to view the geometry, or the deformers, or any kind of expressions it might have, which is scripting, or kind of any kind of animation, animating points that you might have, or splines, any kind of uh, any kind of general indication of animation. And let's go ahead and make those to where we can use them again. I'm going to delete those for now and. Of course, your objects stay the same. Now, if we decide to rotate one of these objects, we notice, of course, this cube is inside of this cube. So, if we try to rotate them, they're both going to rotate because this cube is a child of this cube. This cube is the parent. So, if we wanted to move just the parent without moving the child, we can hold down on the control key, then we can move the parent without moving the child. We hold down on shift and we can quantize the rotation. If we don't hold down on the control key then it's going to move. If we do hold down on the control key then the child will not move. Um, parenting and putting things inside of other objects is useful. If you'd like to keep those objects together they have a purpose, one purpose in mind. Uh, you can also group objects if you'd like to. You can right click Go to group objects, or there's a shortcut key you can see, Alt G. Just Alt G on the keyboard, and you can uh, rename it here, or double click and rename it. So notice also that it automatically expands. You click on spheres, and it'll automatically expand the time. Now, 
you can also drag this but notice if you do drag this that uh, it will no longer automatically adjust and what you generally have to do is probably probably close and open your window it's kind of a kind of annoying but sometimes that's what you need to do we close this control f4 which is the same as going to let's close your window here say no we can we can bring back just go ahead and open get some new objects in here of course you'd save it otherwise if you wanted to bring those objects back just reopen it and now if we decide to put things in here put one sphere inside of another then we automatically have it adjusting now I want to talk about these tags here I'm going to delete that this this is your following tag. What this determines is where where it'll actually smooth out in the render view. So if we actually if we just if we lower this to like nothing, we see how this these edges are all of a sudden really stand out really hard. This is the angle at which it decides to smooth things. So you see that these angles right here along here are more extreme than these angles and so as we go up in angles the smoother it is as we go down then of course it's going to be very hard we can also determine this manually so let's say we have it up back to where it was at default 80 degrees we click on the sphere and we make it edible the UL for the selection loop selection actually right click on that <coughs> let me bring this up a little bit higher right click on that and we can go to break fong shading now if we click off of that we can see that it actually breaks the shading so you actually have complete control over where it decides it is smooth and where it doesn't smooth it doesn't affect the geometry it just affects the way it looks the way it renders out the way you see it the geometry remains the same you can also put it right back you can unbreak it and then it's back to all being smooth